What's up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue. What I'm going to be doing today is going to be a slow cooker Mongolian beef. And I stumbled on this recipe when I was looking for something a little different to do with uh, flank steak as opposed to just grilling it. So I happened to see this, just I googled it, this is the recipe that came up. Anyway, what we're going to be doing is a pretty simple recipe. We're going to be doing this in, uh, this is kind of a combo uh, air fryer crock pot, so we're going to be doing it in that. Uh, I did change up the recipe just a little bit, but in the description I'm going to leave the exact recipe that inspired me to make this, and then you can make some adjustments if you find it necessary. Anyway, come on in and take a look at what I'm using. Go through these ingredients. I'm going to kind of tell you how I've adjusted it, but uh, anyway, we, we have our sliced up flank steak. Now what I did was I cut that very thin, and if you're cutting flank steak or any kind of steak, the best way to do it is to cut it when it's about halfway frozen. So we have that. We have some uh, carrots that are cut thinly. The One of the adjustments I made is we have some jalapenos that I've cut thinly. We're going with some ginger. That's fresh ginger. In this uh, Mongolian beef, I'm going to go ahead and add some green onions, but I did reserve some to slice up later as a garnish. We have garlic as well, soy sauce, brown sugar, cornstarch. The recipe I saw called for uh, olive oil, but another YouTube channel sent me this saying stir fry oil. Uh, that YouTube channel's name is The Root Boy Cooks. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to his channel in the iCard above and the description below. He does a lot of cooking with this stuff and it seems to be uh, right up the alley for this rest for this recipe. So that's what we're going to use. Anyway, I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way, get my crock pot out, then we're going to get started on this simple recipe. Our first step is going to be to coat this beef. Now, you could do it in a Ziploc bag or something, but you know what? Let's make this all in one pot. So we're just going to throw this in. Like I said earlier, we will have all of the ingredients and amounts in the description. And what I'm going to do is, excuse me a second, is we are just going to mix this in. Kind of make sure it's all coated up. And you know what? I think that might be enough cornstarch. The recipe did call for a little bit more than this, but I think that is going to be good to go right there. If needed, I could always add it later. Once we get that in, now it's just time to dump in the rest of our ingredients. Just like any other crock pot recipe, it's pretty simple. Just throw the stuff in. Got our jalapenos, our brown sugar, let's go with our carrots, our fresh ginger our garlic, our green onions, our soy sauce, and one ingredient I didn't mention earlier was water, and we need a little bit more water than soy sauce, boom there we go with that, some of this Recipe call for a couple tablespoons of this saying stir fry oil that the Rube Boy cook sent me. Let's go a little heavy on that. It's about three tablespoons. And then we just kind of mix it together. And that looks good enough for me. Now we're just going to throw the lid on it, and this is going to go on high for about four hours. This isn't a traditional crock pot, so high for me on this is going to be about 275 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in, let it go. We'll pick it up in three to four hours. If I take a look at it and we need any adjustments, I'll also bring the camera back for that. Looking like after about three and a half hours or so. I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff plated up, 
kind of let you see what that looks like and then it's just gonna be time to eat plated up went ahead and threw some green onions on the top for a little bit of garnish like I said earlier only one thing to do and that's a taste it Go ahead and taste this crock pot meal. This thing seemed pretty simple. Like I said earlier in the video, run by Sal at the Root Boy Cooks who provided me with that uh, same stir fry oil. Let's get down to business. We get a little rice. Man, can't be that for easy crock pot meal. Anyway, give it a shot. I'm gonna put the ingredients in the description. Thanks for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.